Oh my gosh, I was trying to get to the camera an hour ago. All right, putting in our drain. I just made our connection and backfilled it before I could even get the thing turned on. We have a nice five inch, six inch deep drain. The full length of this garage. Big retaining wall, a lot of water coming down here. Now we're gonna taper this off that way, but a lot of water, a lot of snow melt are gonna come right over here. We don't want them heading in those doors. We have this set at 3% low, 1% low. So we have some cross slope in there. Welcome to TSH Concrete, we do it all. It may not be right, but we do it all. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, we're packing that all in around the pipe. And we filled that all in with stone. So any water leaks out of that, it'll follow stone, find their French drain, and head on out. At least that's the plan. Man, we are we are covered in shade here. Okay. It has been a rainy week and we are pushing forward. So you can see the height difference here. I'll just talk real quick and get this over with. Uh, garage door sets the elevation. Coming across here, this is all draining away, but this is where they keep their garbage can pads. Uh, the height is, we had a laser set up earlier, right here. So to get their garbage cans, it's a four inch step. So I'll talk to the homeowner. We may want to take this out and do a separate concrete pad and then adjust the walk down to the back. Here comes the homeowner right now. Getting that leveled out. Keeping this planter bed around that, we had to tighten this up. This homeowner is really starting to get on my nerves. Can I put you on video? <laughs> See what I mean? All right, so we're coming right across here. Right across here, even from gate to gate. Uh, she wanted to just move out just a little bit extra room on this hillside, and we're just being sensitive of, you know, the fill that we're, now we're on. Uh, but it's been there for quite some time. And it's not a lot of concrete. We'll double reinforce it and we'll do what we can. And she only had me take it out an extra foot, so I think we're okay. Uh, we're gonna put a spreader in center of the wall and bring it straight down. Now we'll pour this all in one stretch and we'll build off of that. So we'll get that going. And rain is finally out of here. Maybe we'll get some concrete coming. Okay, we are 100% ready while we were waiting. Homeowner liked my idea, so we went ahead and pushed this back, piled all the brick up over there. Now when they pull the garbage cans in, everything's nice and even. The mixer driver said, you want me to go where? We're like, thread the needle, baby. Right through there. I'll be buying a mirror. It's kind of, it's, it's bigger than it looks up there. It's just uh, on a slight bend. You see he's making his way right around. And I talk about these trucks all the time. They're all wheel drive. They don't turn real good, but nice traction. And they go pretty much anywhere. Pretty much anywhere. Just give him a heads up where we want to start. So we'll get the chutes on, get in position, 
looked at this poured. Now this will be our slowest pour, the drain. We want to pour on both sides. We have it all pinned in. Now concrete will get underneath this lip and hold it in place. And you can see our rebar pound through the tabs, hold it pretty stable. I left my pipe a little bit high. It's about three quarters of an inch high. Now the debris will lay on the bottom, it won't run down the pipe. He can put a protective cap as well as the grates uh, to siphon all the leaves. And you know we're going to get hit with leaves. Now if this drain clogs and fails, this concrete is slightly lower than the garage. When this fails, the water will still drain without going in and uh, messing up his garage. Alright, let's go. Okay, this is why I don't walk and chew gum at the same time. I was talking to the owner, measuring this. I figured we were 10 foot wide times 38 feet long. Divided by 70, 4.5 yards. Where it is 50 feet long. So we got three and a half yards coming this way. They're loading it right now. It should be here any minute. I should have got 10 yards. I got seven and a half. 10 would have made it. Uh, but I, yeah. So. Okay, number one truck is all done. Number two truck is broomed and getting edged. What do you hear behind me? Oh yeah, another truck. All right, just putting the final details around here. Nice planner, highlighting that with a six inch edge. Steve's taking care of the detail. Center of that drain, we wanted some good relief, as well as the corners. Okay, let's get them in place. And rather than put you on time lapse, I'll talk to you when we're done and I'll video finishing. Concrete is ready, and we snuck another uh, load in here. Oh boy, I am getting tired. You have the board on that one, right? Yeah, I tossed it right there on the hill. Yeah. all right here we go it's finally ready to rub two cuts coming over this one i just gave a slight angle and wet stab this now that crack can pull that right off to the edge these guys are getting their one two and a half cuts in now we're set up really nice right up the hill in the morning I'd say 25 yards and we are done. Let me set the camera up here. You can watch this get this finished. I'm gonna get a time lapse and then we'll talk in, in a minute. Okay, one, two, three, and a half pads all rubbed up, cut, edged, ready to be broomed. Stretching. I know my back is tight. I'm, I don't know about <laughs> the walk behind screed, the magic screed. We haven't had that out in a while. Okay, we'll be brooming this. It's pretty creamy yet. So that's a good thing. We want to wait. Maybe I can sock this and edge it. Let me see if this is getting tight enough. Should be pretty close to be able to walk on. It's getting pretty hard. I think I'll be able to walk right up there, put a finish edge on that. 
makes that easy. Concrete plane here a little bit longer than I was hoping for. Starting to get dark out. Finally ready. So we'll go ahead and get this broomed and edged and we'll catch some more video tomorrow as we pull up that steep hill. We got acorns falling everywhere. The challenge is the cement finisher faces, huh? Getting an acorn guy now. Okay, so that's what we want. A nice, fine, soft broom. See you tomorrow, everybody. <laughs> Okay, there it is, all wedged. Oh my gosh, what a day. Just getting started here, and we're already about halfway done. So formed up the top. We left that open, now we can roll a mixer around there. And you leaving that right there for tonight? Yep. Sounds good, see you guys in the morning. See ya. Long ride home, huh? So far, Tommy brought his bike. Good morning, here comes the sun. It's quite dark down here. Uh, we just got Tony in position. Now that we have the forms on, that took away like about six more inches of wiggle room. Just a tight squeeze. Let get down here. Maybe you can watch a little bit with the headlights until it lightens up a little bit. Starting to pull up this hill now. Wanna need a little drink in that, Tony? You guys like it or? Okay. Finally getting light out. That's putting the bull float on it. We have a little hump here. Let me show you. Right here where the steps come down to meet the drive. We just flattened that out a little bit, which created a hump. So I didn't want that to carry through the whole driveway. So just straight edge it around and then just, you know, three or four feet there. Just feathered it up, trying to make everything blend so that when you drive down it, you get a nice even plane. I think you can see what I'm talking about right here. And that's over the bull float right now. Okay, number two is coming in shortly. Tony's cleaning up. Now the truck doesn't have to come all the way around the bend. I think the hard part is about to be over. Not quite over yet. Here we go, round two. Or 10, I'm not sure. Four brand new shoots, look at that. Getting them all dirty. Wanna creep my head a little bit? See how it flows. I know that back tire is so close to the form. Okay, let me put the camera down and help out. You know the drill. So this one will get us up to middle of the truck. Now that the mixer doesn't have to pull in next time. And, uh, well, finally some level concrete up there. Okay, here we go. Okay, truck one, truck two, all done. So this is right where I wanted to stop. That's something that worked out good. Now, third truck, all he has to do is maybe get a wheel in, three shoots. What is going on over there? Oh my gosh. So we bulkhead it off. Notice our wire and rebar run underneath on these on this hill. Down there on the flat where we get 
uh, hydraulic pressure underneath. I don't like those tied together. We're all on very solid ground. Uh, if we tie the pads together and they can't heave if they need to ever so slightly, then of course it's going to crack. They never move very far. Uh, I get a couple of comments on that and uh, that's my reasoning. We've been doing it that way for years and it really does seem to work. Now, you'll notice the driveway we did yesterday, we did tie underneath a uh, steep hill, a new build, new, uh, new ground. So ditches could settle, over digs could settle. That's why we tied that in. And that's why we're not tying it in here. Doing good. 8.30, concrete's all edged. Uh, this big area, what we're gonna do, we're gonna angle this cut up to center with our cross cut, and then right at that intersection, we'll Y it. That'll look like a nice design, and it'll give us good relief on all these little odd shapes in here in this long wedge. Over by the broom, that cut, we'll just continue that straight off, and it'll match one and two and three pads. These just get cross cuts all the way up. A couple minutes, we'll be on that. Let's go dig out that apron. So as the snow plow comes around here in the winter time, he misses the mailboxes, right? So we want to make sure we keep this driveway back. You know, like right, right in here, just behind the front of that mailbox. And also so the mail deliver guy person doesn't have to drive across the edge of the driveway all the time. All right, I'll get some fresh batteries in the camera and get this ready. Tom was digging, we started doing cuts. Let me run you right back down here. So we did a couple cross cuts. We're up to truck two, it's a little bit soft get on it and you just make a mess especially on that hill so that's our cuts there Steve's doing center easy okay all right so me measure seven foot we'll take a look at seven so with the scratch in the concrete, that center, and that looks real nice going up the driveway. I like that. It's our target from there to here, and then our Y. Do you need to leave again early? Yeah, just after that. Okay. Thank you for calling Thrower Concrete. All hours are from 6.30 transferring to dispatch. One moment. Here we go. Hello, sirs. Hey, Tim. Tom Hawes. Yes. Hey, I'm recording you on YouTube. Shall I shut off the camera? Um, I, I signed a waiver, remember? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, can we go final truck, uh, seven yards, 4,000 fiber, no pause? Hey, uh, that, that's all you're going to do there today? Or yeah. Done there? Yeah, this will finish this up today. Now, you're pouring at uh, Luann's tomorrow? Correct, yeah. I was going to call Jeff in a little bit, but uh, I believe it's 30 yards. Yeah, you got... It's only like two minutes from here. Okay. It isn't even a mile away. Okay, we should be there by 6.30. He said it's all ready to go. I have no idea. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to him in a little bit and we'll confirm, confirm all that. Okay, and Tony and Harp? Yeah, perfect, yeah. Okay. All right, thanks, Tim. Okay, on this bend, we want a nice wide approach. Now they can swing in here real fast. Uh, 18 feet across down to it uh, right where the bucket is that's 10 foot wide just over 10 
to 12. We had to skinny it up to get around those in between the trees. So let's get this graded. You saw concrete coming and be finishing that in minutes. We just split into two different teams, getting this ready. Chris is running our end form. Now we'll finish this with some, some uh, limestone or we'll go get some cold patch. The rest of us are down here keeping that low enough and away enough one away enough so the snowplow doesn't hit it low enough so the snowplow doesn't hit it but high enough we don't want water coming off that street running down here so we we want to create a little swale or just hit it just right where the water hits it and goes beside beside get to the point not so much rambling all right, no school today? No. Those don't look like work clothes. Yeah. Good tennis shoes. Yeah. Fighting the trees. Okay, where can I help out? Get on an edger, get on a joiner. Uh, joiner on a stick. Joiner on a stick, I'm on it. handful of tools there is our finished design so these cuts come off of the drain all the way to the edge center of drive up through now you can see how when that does crack it'll follow that right off to the edge and so it looks nice we add a clip this way so coming down the driveway it just looks real nice as well as this corner can flex a little bit and it'll send a crack a fracture not a crack a fracture right through there all right tom's getting ready to do the connector i have a couple boards that i had here for length i think this shorty fit in there real good okay let me get cleaned up we'll get this form off and the homeowner went to go get his Chick-fil-A, so we have a nice little break coming up here. Did you get your order in for Chick-fil-A? Yeah. Oh, you did? 64 chicken nuggets. 64. A growing boy. Young man. How many would you eat before you threw up? 63. 63. 64th would put you over. Okay, we've reached the top. Let's get some wire, some rebar. I like the form here. We'll do a cold patch or some sort of material. Beautiful. Water break. Okay, final pour. Just wanted to show you real quick how it rolls in there. Let me make sure I don't get hit by a car. As well as the curves going right around in between the trees. I think the guys did a pretty good job getting it in there. We got lunch coming. We'll get a little bit of cleanup. Let's take a break. Thank you so much. This is so nice. We're not leaving here. So what, what what other concrete projects do you have for us? Uh, keep We're us here, done. please. We're done. We're done. <laughs> this is great. We're cleaning out our dirt. Thank you, Donna, for the muffins. Thank you, Donna. I'll have something yeah. dessert. Yes. Thank you. 
Sorry, yeah, Jeff. We're, we're not going to make it to pour your floor today, so you're going to have to wait. We're, we're, we're busy. <laughs> we're, we're way too busy. This is awesome. Look how nice. Yeah, there's nothing going on over here. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. food on my face. <laughs> Why don't you get the trucks locked down? So Austin <laughs> did get a 64 pack of chicken nuggets. Was it 64? No. Oh my God. I'm not getting up. How nice. Don't you wish this was Friday? It is. <laughs> for me? It is for you. This is true. Where are you going this weekend? Okay, we just added a little bit of limestone here to blend into the road. Uh, now either us, I mean, they only live two doors down from me, so we'll probably come back and put some cold patch in here, dust it with sand, and make it look real nice for them. If we leave it like this, now every time they do it, go across there, uh, of course the gravel is going to come down the driveway, scratch it, and always just be a nuisance. Eventually they'll repay the road, make it real nice right into that. Final broom, there's our cut pattern. We do this quite a bit. Good protection, good protection. Rebarred through and through. Take a look at how aggressive these broom marks are. Don't mind a little bit more aggressive broom mark coming up that hill, but still not tearing the concrete open. Okay, just from right there to here. A little bit cooler out today, and we are in full shade. Watchy sun. Yeah, yeah, you can take that apart, load it up. Long one goes up top, the short one goes in a box. Balance on two by four blocks is the best way we find to do this. Cleaning up that edge mark. Nice crisp corners. And there it is, all done. Right.